This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 533. Exercise sucks. Here's what to do about it. Part one by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And I'm your host and narrator, Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy Wednesday, happy 1st of August, and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I read some of the best health and fitness blogs to you, usually with a little bit of commentary at the end. And today's post is a bit on the longer side, so I'll read the first half today and then finish it up tomorrow. Oh, and don't forget, I answer your questions every Friday. You can send one in at oldpodcast.com slash ask. If you do, you'll be entered into small special raffles to win books from us. Now today's post, Exercise Sucks, is absolutely how I felt when I was younger. Now I don't feel that way anymore, but that change didn't happen overnight for me. So I'm excited to read this post to you, so let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. Exercise Sucks, Here's What to Do About It, Part 1, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Two weeks ago, I almost puked, and it inspired this article. My friend Noah was in town, and he invited me to join him in a special workout with some other internet dorks. That's what I call affectionately those of us who make our living online. Noah lives in Austin, and I haven't seen him in a while, so although the idea of going out in public, yikes, and working out in a group setting, nope, are things I try to avoid, I figured I'd be a good sport. Upon arriving at the gym, I walked into a room with 25 other people and an instructor who looked like he had been picked from a good-looking Super Jack trainer casting call. What transpired was a 25-minute boot camp-style workout where we all did various things like burpees, box jumps, squats, dips, etc. There was no break, and we moved from one exercise to the next as thumping hip-hop played the training yelling louder and louder to encourage us to push ourselves. I hated every second of it. I think I would rather get a root canal than go through that style of workout again, or watch an episode of The Real Housewives of Rivendell. Let's be clear. I'm not saying this just wasn't my cup of tea. This wasn't mild displeasure, but pure misery. As I finished my gazillionth burpee, wheezing and out of breath, I looked at my friend Roman, and we both kind of chuckled. This is not my thing, Roman said to me. Okay, actually what he said was more profanity-laced, but I like to keep things relatively clean around here. When the workout was over, I glanced at some of the other people around the room, also drenched in sweat, but with smiles on their faces. That was great, and I loved it, thanks man phrases were shouted. Although I knew I probably wouldn't enjoy this type of workout, after realizing just how much I hated it, I knew I needed to write about it. Just how many people hate these workouts and think they hate working out, I wondered as I pushed myself to the point of puking. Today, I'm going to give you permission that you didn't realize you needed. Don't like exercise? It's probably the type. I have been training in gyms, parks, and playgrounds for 15 years. I own and operate a health and fitness website and thoroughly enjoy exercise. It's one of my favorite things to do, and if I miss a workout, it feels like something in my life is missing. And yet, I found myself cursing the exercise gods during that workout, wishing I was doing anything else. You see, I like exercise to be an enjoyable and solitary experience. Pushing myself to the point of almost puking is not fun for me. Training in a group setting is also not generally enjoyable for me, as I prefer my workouts to be contemplative and meditative. Headphones in, playlist on, eyes down, mouth closed, and doing my routine designed with specific goals in mind. Because of this, other than going for extended walks around New York City, hiking when I can, or doing ring routines that last for a few minutes, I don't, quote, do cardio. So a boot camp slash CrossFit style workout is not one I particularly enjoy. People look at me like I'm crazy when I tell them I don't go for a run, ever. It's like there's this law that says, in shape equals formal cardio, which I disagree with strongly. I couldn't help but think about somebody that might be in their mid-30s who's been sitting hunched over a desk for the past decade, potentially also severely overweight, and ends up in a boot camp as their first fitness experience. I think some people will love it, and maybe they'll build up to CrossFit or SoulCycle or some other similar type of workout atmosphere, and that's amazing. They love that feeling of pushing themselves harder than they thought possible. They get to work out alongside others, and it gives them a of a workout. They end these classes really beat up, and fired up. That's what some people will do. I think many other people won't particularly enjoy this workout style, especially if they're rookies to fitness or very overweight. Sure, they might find a way to push through their workout enough times that they learn to, quote, 
love to hate them, and they'll make this a thing they do regularly. However, I imagine the far majority of out of shape or newbies will fit into this category. Hate the workout, assume this quote-unquote fitness is the only kind of fitness, and get discouraged and embarrassed. Screw this, I'm going back to my couch. Like Billy Madison getting teased when he had to write in cursive, he got discouraged and never wanted to come back to school. There's nothing wrong with boot camps and CrossFit. I would love it if I liked that stuff, but it never worked for me. If that's your thing, keep killing it. These are amazing ways to get in shape for the right type of person. But for those of you who don't find these workout styles fun, motivating, and easy to get yourself to do, I wanna make something abundantly clear. If you strongly despise a certain style of working out and don't want to do it, it doesn't make you a bad person or lazy or a quitter. It might just mean that you don't like this kind of training. So don't do it ever again, never ever. To be continued. You just listened to part one of the post titled Exercise Sucks. Here's what to do about it by Steve Camp of nerdfitness.com. It's funny because I had almost the exact same experience as Steve, but with a different response. So when I thought I was getting super fit, this was a few years back, I joined a boot camp class and I thought I would own this, I got this. And like Steve, I almost puked. I had to stop the workout, lay down on my back and put my feet up because I thought I'm either gonna pass out or throw up. But the funniest thing about it was, I, for some weird, weird reason, liked that feeling. I liked feeling I pushed myself to the brink. I didn't know that I could push myself that hard. I didn't have to before. My buddy also did the very same boot camp class with me. He had the same response where he had to run to the bathroom and he hated that. He never wanted to come back to that class, but I showed up the next day. My students often ask me, how do you work out? What do you do at the gym? And I often tell them, I often puke at the gym. I throw up a lot. And I don't like throwing up, don't get me wrong. It's bad for your body if you throw up a lot. But I like pushing myself to the limit. That's what I was trying to get across. You understand I really don't like to puke. So I like knowing where my limits are. But many people, most people, don't like that feeling at all. And so I completely agree with Steve. If it's not your thing, it's okay. You can achieve results in other ways. That's why there are so many hundreds of thousands of hundreds of thousands of workouts out there. They all work. Students often ask me that too. Which workout works? Which workout will get me results? Guess what my answer is? Whatever one you're gonna stick to. All right, like I mentioned at the top of the show, I answer your questions right here on the podcast every Friday in special Q&A episodes. Well, in fact, you may ask me, what is your workout? I don't think I've had that question yet. Anywho, you can ask anything related to diet and nutrition, stress management, exercise, and more. Just call and leave me a message with your question. The phone number is 61 I love OHD. Or you can also send in an audio question through our site, oldpodcast.com slash ask. That's more friendly if you want to do multiple takes and hear yourself before sending it in. Oh, and by the way, if you send in a question, you're entered into special raffles to win books from us every month. All right, that does it for today. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. I'll see you back here for tomorrow's show where we'll finish up this post and where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.